and we're ready and we are set for the Sao Paulo Grand Prix. It's round 19, it's lights out and away we go. Bottas gets away well ahead of Verstappen, but Verstappen is coming back at him and Lando Norris touches and he's got a puncture on his rear left tyre as he clashed with a Ferrari. Verstappen takes the lead. He squeezed out Valtteri Bottas going through turn two. Perez is in third, then comes the Ferrari of Carlos Sainz and Charles Leclerc as we head down the Retro Posta now and he's getting a decent slipstream. It's Charles Leclerc, but he's been forced over to the left-hand side as Verstappen leads from Bottas from Perez, Leclerc and then Sainz and Bottas the two is going wide and Bottas as well. Bottas wide. It's a Red Bull 1-2 there. So uh, down into the tricky braking zone. It's downhill into turn four and Valtteri Bottas defending hard. But somehow they all made it through there. Sadly for Lando Norris, he's got the entire lap to go with a puncture. Hamilton is up to seventh. We saw him through Ferradura passing there. Pierre Gasly. Yeah, I could do nothing to avoid that over there. Yeah, I got the Full throttle, full blast, all the way to turn one, and he is gaining, gaining, gaining in the slipstream of Carlos Sainz. Pulls over to the inside. Sainz isn't going to fight that one. And Hamilton, if he is to win this race in the space of two laps, has half the arrears that he needs to. Yuki Sonoda going down the inside, but there just wasn't the space, and that's a lot of bodywork coming off there. Uh, he was not looking at all. To invert the cars in turn one. That was Valtteri slowing down and obeying those team yes, orders. Yes, and he had to slow down a lot, didn't he? So he's side by side there. Little touch. Ooh. Gets a bit trigger happy with the throttle, and that's where the, the wing's gone. And he's just trying to break the slipstream now. Moving around a lot, probably a bit too much, if the truth be known. And there's Hamilton, but trying to go down the outside. Is he going to sweep through? Can he keep it on the road? He can. And he's done it. Hamilton, who's been making a habit of going down the inside into turn one, this time dances around the outside, and he has done it. He's cleared Sergio Perez, who's got now DRS to try and fight his way back. They're going to go wheel to wheel into Cedar de Largo, and Sergio Perez repasses Lewis Hamilton and reclaims that second place. Inside, outside, outside, inside. Which way is Lewis Hamilton going to go? To the left, to the right? It's going to be to the right. It's going to be round the outsides. And for the second lap, running the crowd cheer as Lewis Hamilton passes Sergio Perez. This time around, he looks a bit further ahead yep. through the Curva del Sol to try and stay ahead. More debris coming off uh, the Aston Martin of Lance Stroll. Bottas is coming into the pits. Cheap stop for him, isn't it? Very cheap stop. How is this going to work out for him? Well, it's going to get him ahead of Sergio Perez. That is for sure. Here comes Hamilton on Max Verstappen. Down towards turn one. Verstappen moved and, and cut out any possibility of an overtake down the inside. Yeah, but Hamilton will get another helping of the DRS down this back straight. There it goes. And um, crucially, Martini is closer than he was on the previous lap. And here goes Lewis Hamilton. He was last at the start of the sprint. He's trying to take the lead from Verstappen, but he is forced wide by Verstappen. And Verstappen himself has to go off the track. Did Verstappen drive Hamilton off the track? He didn't, he didn't run into him, but no. uh, Mercedes will think that. Michael, that is all about let them race. That's all about let them race. No investigation necessary. They're satisfied in the stewards' room that Verstappen did nothing wrong. So, Lewis, apparently no investigation necessary for running you off track. Of course, man. Of course. It's not working out for Mercedes at the moment. Do you stop Hamilton? Well, let, let's, let's see what happens here. Just wondering if it's not been working out, do Mercedes try anything different? But it is working out at this moment in time. Verstappen is weaving all over the road and he's going to force Hamilton wide again. And Hamilton can't quite get past on the entry into turn four. Thought for one moment about the old switcheroo there. Force Verstappen a little bit deeper. Cut through on the inside. Didn't happen for him. The battle resumed as they go into turn one. And uh, Hamilton's gaining, gaining, gaining on Max Verstappen here. Uh, couldn't pull the move off on Verstappen that he did on Lando Norris in the sprint yesterday. Norris didn't really fight that one, to be fair. But he forced he forced uh, Max to go late into the corner, and he's got a better exit. Hamilton with a much better exit down to turn four. I said it's a third time lucky. Hamilton pulls ahead of Verstappen before they get to the corner. The crowd go absolutely wild. It is third time lucky for Lewis Hamilton. He was 20th and last on the grid for the sprint here on lap 59 of the Grand Prix. He has gone for from last all the way to first. What a drive this has been from Lewis Hamilton this weekend.
Gazi's got Esteban Ocon on his sights. The two Frenchmen going to turn one together. They almost collide. And that, by the briefest of margins, was a lucky escape, I think, for both of them going into turn one. Gasly makes his way up into eighth place, but they've both got DRS here, and Ocon is going to fight this one back again. Esteban Ocon's never scored a point here before. He has to yield and concede to Pierre Gasly into turn four. Gasly absolutely flying towards him. Here comes the gas man. And Fernando Alonso manages to stay ahead. Now, where does he point that Alpine to try and defend into Decido de Lago? He's not got DRS, Fernando Alonso, to help his battle. Gasly has, giving him an extra speed advantage. Gasly's going to go all the way around the outside and does so. Lewis Hamilton now has the chequered flag in sight for his 101st win. Hamilton, against the odds, has come home to win the Sao Paulo Grand Prix. What a victory for Lewis Hamilton. He's not ready to loosen his grip on that championship trophy. Not just yet. And with three races to go, is it very much game on back at the top? And we look to see what Sergio Perez is doing. He's going for that fastest lap. He was fourth, he remains fourth, but he goes fastest with a 1.11.0. We move on then to Qatar in a week's time after a hugely eventful weekend here at Interlagos. There's something about this place. It just makes history, it makes stories, it makes memories. And Hamilton's memories that has started out looking rather grim on the first couple of days will be full of smile and joy. He wins the Sao Paulo Grand Prix, closes the gap at the top as we head off to the next round in seven days' time.